All right, guys, it is a beautiful Friday afternoon here in Denver, Colorado, where we just finished up this truck for Damien Gordon out of Florida. Damien Enterprise LLC. Now, he is a referral from our good friend from Wisconsin, Kevin Updike. If you look back in my videos, you'll remember his orange and white, Omaha orange and white truck. And I got to tell you guys, this one is going on the list of one of my all-time favorites. Hands down, bar none, absolutely one of my favorite color combos. The two favorites, Plum Crazy Purple and Diamond White. Damien chose these colors himself, and it just looks unbelievably awesome together. Just a gorgeous truck. Kevin, thank you so much for believing in me enough to uh, give Damien a referral. I don't even really have to talk very much through this video. I got a little bit of a cold. Um, he kept a lot of his choices simple. But I want you to look right in front of the breather where the breather's panels are. A lot of guys ask me about the shine back lights and what they look like. So the, the front of the panel is blank and you can see our painters Mike and Daniel how they brought these lines together right there to make everything match and look good. All the way down we did the Phoenix FX panels with shine down lights painted. painted the drop panels the really cool thing about this is is it brings when you when you get a seminal paint job on a truck the line stops at the bottom of the cab so when you paint an extra color down there in this case the purple it just adds another line it just looks so nice While I'm going through this guys, I want to tell you real quick, I had a little bit of availability just happen. We just got a little bit more allocation with some 389s with Cummins. They're going to go quick, so if you are interested, give me a text, 970-518-5520, and we can talk about those trucks. I might even have a flat top here coming in the next couple weeks that's available. Has not been spoken for yet, it's a fallout. I do have it quoted to a few people, so they may take it, but we set his fifth wheel to a minus 10, which means it goes back. Actually, I think this one's like a minus 6 or a minus 8. Um, no sense in making your fifth wheel too big, but you do like to have it go back just in case your business model changes. see even on the back of the breather panels scooter did all the fabrication on this so like when we do paintable panels here what we do is we uh, mock them up first to make sure scooter had to do a little bit of trim right here so it's always good to mock up those panels first and he had enough foresight oh here's another cool little thing we did on Damien's truck he wanted to have an LED light shine down the back so we put this trucks light on and we painted it purple so one of the things we learned when I'm specking a truck you can do an outboard mounted bracket like we did when you do these short sleeper panels here this is considered the outboard mounted bracket right here and so he wanted one on the outside so what we did was we pointed this one over here facing a little bit outward so when he's doing a blind side back he can see and then he has the extra LEDs poking out so he's gonna have multiple angles on his lights coming down 
which is pretty sweet. Round hole Alcoa's on 22 tall rubber Michelins. So, here, this is for all you W900 guys. I get a crack out of you guys, you know, pulling them big old heavy fiberglass hoods. This is why a Peterbilt hood is better than a Kenworth hood. You can argue with me all day, every day, but you're wrong. The Peterbilt hood is better than a W9 hood. I might become a lightning rod for making that comment, but that's okay. I still love Kenworths too. Air ride front suspension, 13.2 front, 40 rears, 336s. We have some pretty cool customs that are getting ready to be coming out on video here, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you like to check out some more stuff. I might even be doing a truck that's going to be hiding a def tank. I think it's going to be pretty slick. Window chops. Painted on the front and back sides. As well as the visor. Sorry about the ugly western stars in the background. Yeah, I'm, I'm full of piss and vinegar today. That's alright. This truck came in at 18,766 pounds. So a lot of guys ask me, well, aren't Kenworth and Peterbilt almost the same? And I answer that question with uh, this statement. Man and monkey are similar, but it's the differences that matter. You choose which one you think's the monkey. We did the 12 and 12 setup on this one here, which means we did 12 gauges, 12 air rockers, lots of spares, but we got to do these in clusters of four. So in order to keep it neat and tidy, that's how I do it. It's nice to have extra spare switches available to you. Of course, this one does have the 18 speed. And the digital dash. You know, I'm just grateful every day. I joke around a little bit, and sometimes we talk about some serious topics, you know, crazy stuff that's going on in the world today. But the one thing that I do believe is that I am incredibly blessed to be able to work with you guys and build your trucks for you. I never want to take you all for granted. I just wanted to say thank you. Put a bunk heater on this one. And business center. Well, there you guys have it. This is Damian Gordon's Purple and white custom. Absolutely gorgeous. Give him a big thumbs up. Say congratulations, Damien. And again, we just appreciate you guys. If you like these videos, you want to see some more of the custom stuff that I have coming out, make sure you subscribe. And uh, we got more coming at you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.